You call us Time Lords. Why do you want to interact with us? Uh, hi. Uh, I just wondered who you are and what's, what's, your, what's your work. And I, that's the first time for me speaking with you. So I would like to learn more about you. I see. There are many of us. We control the travel in time because it is dangerous and it is uh, unlawful to do so without our permission. Uh huh. So, uh, so are you the you ones who create time or do you just travel, control the travel? We control the travel. So who is creating the time? God creates the time. Each, well, and each species creates their own kind of time. Humans created a 24-hour day. Other places will create a different time pathway for their existence that makes sense for the organization of their world. There is different times, but in a sense, time does not exist in one way or another. Space exists, and that is how we measure many things. When you measure the space, then you will also measure how long it takes to get to that, through that kind of space with the kind of vehicle that you have. All right. Uh, so is there any special part of the body which would create time or part of the cell which would create time in, in humans? Yes. The brain and the third eye can create a spatial temporal, a temporal spatial area whenever there is an emergency for it, but it's very rare. Oh, but how do we normally create time? Is there like part of the body which is responsible for creating the time? No, not usually. We do not create time. We just manipulate it. We keep it from, we keep people from going back and forward in it uh -huh. to a great degree because it's dangerous. However, we do allow certain people to move back in time to observe or move forward in time to observe, but not to become part of the reality once again. There are time machines, there are time mechanisms that can take you in from your dimension back into time or move you forward in time in your dimension in your solid forms but this is not permitted it is too dangerous now uh, timelines are something different timelines are created to play out all the scenarios in infinitum for a particular situation for a particular time span personality etc so there cannot be a limit to timelines in the sense that there are infinite ways to play out lifetimes. Uh, so are there like uh, any elementals responsible for time? Because we have elementals for water, air, earth, fire, and uh, other, is there an elemental for time? They call on us for time, but they can call on us to do so. The reason Elementals are there for the earth or for the planet that they are made for. So therefore, they do not control time as much as the environment, the ecology, and the things that make up that planet. They are in charge of keeping it safe as much as possible. So therefore, if they need to go back in time or forward in time, they must call us. They do not manipulate it. We do. Uh huh. So, if uh, everyone were to manipulate time, it would be out of control. That is why we there we exist is to control what is done in the universes and make sure that um, things are not destroyed. Entire universes can be destroyed with the wrong kind of time travel. Mm -hmm. So in our, in our reality, the time just goes forward and we are dragged through time. Yes. Uh, but uh, say in the fourth dimension, what happens with the time in a, in a higher dimension? Time in higher dimensions move forward just as it does in yours. It may be measured differently than in your time capacities, 
fourth dimensional time may be faster and they may live they may say that they live hundreds of years but for you it may only seem like uh, 50 but you see they measure time differently and as time moves forward with them they they see it differently they experience it differently and they have labeled it differently what happens to lower dimensions like is there like a life in lower dimensions than ours and what what is the time there there is life in lower dimensions but some of it is not sentient but uh -huh. the sentient life in lower dimensions finds that time is fragmented let me explain mm -hmm. they do not have the perception of time as linear they per perceive time in circles and cycles and so therefore a life cycle would be of the way they would perceive it and it would be a very low thought process to move through their life and it can be very very short but it would appear to them to be a normal life cycle but to you it might be several nanoseconds now oh. but okay. the thing is about these lower life forms in lower dimensions is they are sometimes perceived as not sentient at all and therefore considered uh, perhaps bacteria germs or of this nature just as you may be perceived as such by very high functioning beings mm -hmm. that do not understand your low uh, intellect. So uh, which of the low dimensional life forms do we know? They do not make themselves present to you because they do not know how to communicate with you. But you know of them as uh, single cell organisms and bacteria, perhaps germs and viruses. Uh, I think germs and bacteria is the same thing, I think. I'm not sure, maybe there is a distinction. Okay, so bacteria and viruses, I understand now. Yeah, I wanted to have Jim channel them, that would be interesting. They would be able to probably speak very rudimentary. I see. We'll see. Because I think they might form some uh, collective structures which would be pretty conscious. Yes, they do. Collect, they are in collectives. They do feel one another. They are sensory in that way. They, but they are not highly intelligent. They're their lives are based on survival and getting the things they need to move forward in their small uh, existence. I see. Um, so switching back to the idea of, uh, to our dimension. Um, so Stuart Hamerov suggested that consciousness creates um, time by collapsing the uncertainty function, oh, by collapsing the uncertainties, um, uh, quantum uncertainties. So basically the, the thing, uh, the, the reality is uh, often very uncertain until there is a consciousness observing it. And when the consciousness ch chooses what to absorb, uh, when, uh, when uh, so someone conscious absorbs the reality, the uncertainty function of the of the reality collapses into certainty and that's where the time is created I, I think i described it pretty precisely what 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 he mentions so can you comment on that is it true in a way it is true but remember this what it, what they are taught is their consciousness in some ways what is all around you and what is taught to be the truth and what you have learned scientifically to be accurate is your consciousness of reality. This reality is what becomes how, uh, the determinant of how you live and how you function because 
you believe in the reality around you and how it exists in your own perception. Therefore, you have determined to live in a perception that has been given to you or learned by rote by you. So therefore, it can be different for each person because this perception has been learned slightly differently or the facts might be askewed and so their determination of what true reality is may be dysfunctional. So therefore, you create your own reality within your understanding of existence and consciousness. Uh-huh, I understand. So Chaimerov suggests that this um, creation of, of the time uh, happens in microtubules and uh, I would expand it to microtubules and DNA. I think that's, that's where the uh, calculations happen that uh, collapse uncertainties into certainties. Would you, could you, can you comment on that? Well, I, was, I don't think I understood the question properly, but I, do, I think that you're talking about small, small periods of time within the universal time sp spans. Is that what you're talking about? Um, I'm talking about what part of the body is creating the, the time. And I believe that microtubules and DNA would be the molecules that create um, time. Well, they do not create it. They observe it. They feel that they have not created it, but yet their consciousness and understanding of the world around them is the, the creation of their understanding of time. They do not create it uh, outside of them, uh, inside of themselves. They grab onto thought processes that are already in uh, use by humanity. Now, uh -huh. those that are original thinkers may change their thought processes about what time is and how they can use it. This is the totally original thinker, and it does originate in the DNA because the DNA may come from different places and different dimensions in some forms, which gives them an allowance to tap into another source of understanding of what time is. And if they can do this, or if they are able to do this, then they can understand a different dimensional time process that time is working in, or create a different time perception because they have experienced it in a different way at a different time. This has been brought back to them through the porthole of cre uh, the God realm. When you are created as a soul, your soul goes through many different changes as it changes through different realities. And sometimes you can be brought through in um, a re realistic way, in a reality that can cause a different, a, a different perception than what has been taught. Once in a while, I, um, I get the sound in my ear, which sounds like, like a, a bump, like a, a supersonic, a supersonic uh, uh, bump, and then like it goes like, pew! And, um, and then nothing happens. It just uh, happens usually at the times when uh, there is nothing happening, like in between times, like when I'm in at rest or maybe I have intermission between different activities. Perhaps yeah. you are sensing the, uh, the neutrinos that pass through your body continuously. Some people can occasionally sense one that hits an area of the brain that causes sensation. And neutrinos, even though they are small and undetectable by humanity in many senses, can set off senses in the brain. Uh-huh. Yeah, I had a different hypothesis. I wondered if it is the time when my operational system is a uh operating system is rebooting. So maybe that's the time when, uh, in between the activities, maybe uh, there was a need for reboot and someone outside is rebooting my system and I wake up, uh, wake up uh, with that wonderful, with that funny sound. 
There is such a thing as a rebooting in the system of all species. It is when you have decided to change direction or energies. It is um, actually a, an occurrence where you feel a different reality coming uh, to you and agree to accept it. Uh-huh. So what's your interaction with, uh, with angels? We also do time lording for angels, but they do not really need much. They are permitted because of how they move to go most any place because they are not actually within the reality, but they are just uh, within their own dimension communicating or doing their job in that particular reality within their reality and not in the reality that they are going to. Right. So how does the time work for angels? Time, they do not sense time at all. They sense that they are doing whatever they need to do in the time God gives them. God sends them and they go immediately as they are sent. And they do not calculate any time that they will arrive. They do not calculate the time that they were spent, but they do just see it as distance, how long it would take to get there and get back, do what they need to do, etc. This would be their consciousness of time is actually space travel. Uh, so, but, but they, they uh, perceive our events in the sequence, right? Is it still continuous? So they, they start from the past and then they move gradually. Or do they, they jump all back and forth in the past and future? They understand your understanding of time and how you have created it. And they will work with it to do the best they can to get the messages across that they were given to give. Oh. Uh, Okay, let me simplify the question. Are they working in our future at the same time as they work on our reality, or do they work on uh, things uh, in order, like... Uh, no, if God gives them... Uh, whatever God gives them to do, they do. If it's in the future, that is where it's at. If it's in the present, that is where it's at. If it's in the past, that's where it's at. They don't look at time that way, they only obey God's word. So they basically have experience of our future. Yes. Ah. And with permission from us, because they do not interfere with it in a way that will destroy eternity. All right. Okay. Um, I think these are all questions I had for you prepared so far. Very well. You don't have anything else for me, right? Just to say that the body really does not create time. Mm -hmm. Time is a, a perception of your species because your species has created it to organize the way things run. You perceive time personally as you were taught to, create, to believe it. However, if you can perceive other kinds of time, it has come from different places that you had visited in the past or future. So therefore, all species create their time to benefit them in a way to organize themselves. Time does not really exist in one linear fashion throughout the universe. There is galactic time, but that will change from galaxy to galaxy because of the spin of the, uh, the galaxy or the way that it rotates around the center, if it does even do so. So time is something that is created by the species as a way to organize what they need to do, whereas in reality, there is no time that is the same everywhere. 
All right. I have a couple more questions which I just remembered. One question was, um, do you do you time lords do time lords uh, reincarnate as humans? No. I see. So you never incarnate as any species or just not humans? We do not incarnate as any species. We have a job to do, and this is a very specialized job. If this job were to be handed over to someone just learning it, they could destroy the universe. So therefore, we must stay and know what we are doing at all times. Right. Uh, do you have a capacity of uh, replaying certain events? Yes. We have many recall capacities. Uh, I mean, re, uh, resetting certain events. So if, if something went wrong, you can just... Uh, Resetting to... events is not part of what we do. If God wants to reset an event, he will do that on his own. We are here to follow his orders, and those orders are to limit time travel. All right, I see. 